My name is Dr. Craig Shuttleworth and 20 years ago I came to Anglesey when it was all grey squirrels and today I'm out looking for red squirrels in the Clangefni's Ingle. It's one of the best places to see this rare and elusive animal. We can look for signs that they've left for us, feeding signs, the remains of stripped pine cones and split hazelnuts, but also we can look for feeding boxes that members of the public and the council have put up and filled with peanuts ready for the squirrels. So let's go and see what we can find. When I'm out looking for squirrels, I try and stay as quiet as possible. Uh, listen for them. Any movement in the canopy, it could be one. To be honest though, quite a lot of the time the squirrel have seen you well before you see it and quite often they'll just sit tight or sometimes they'll go behind the tree trunk so you can't actually see them. But if you're lucky, you will see them. And particularly in a place like the Dingo where they're used to seeing people and they don't see people as a threat, they're likely just to carry on. Another thing to watch out for when you're walking down a path, if a squirrel's on the ground, it's going to make a run for a tree trunk and try and get up high if it feels alarmed or threatened. So how are squirrels getting up and down trees when they don't have thumbs? Because they've only got four digits on the front foot and no thumb. The way they're doing it is they've got large claws and these really sharp claws allow them to grip and purchase on the tree bark as they go up. But what about coming down? How do they do that? How do they manage to run down the tree so fast? Well, they've got a little trick and it's called a double jointed ankle. And because their hind foot's double jointed, it can flick around the opposite direction and that allows them to hang by their feet. And sometimes you'll see them doing that. They're hanging by their hind feet and they'll be busy eating something. Sweet chestnut, one of the squirrel's favourites. And if we actually open this out, you'll see the nut that the squirrel would want to eat. And there we have it. Looks a bit like an acorn, but it's a sweet chestnut. So here we've got a little wooden feeder for squirrels, specially designed so only squirrels can get in by lifting the lid. So we would place inside food. In this case, we've got some peanuts that they quite like. Well, they like almost all of the peanut. If we have a careful look on this little um, platform here, we'll see they've actually left the outer part of the, of the peanut. They don't like the skins. So they take those off before they eat the, the uh, remaining part of it. And squirrels will come here and they'll feed all day long. In fact, in the autumn time, when they're busy burying food for the winter, uh, they'll come and they'll take these peanuts and they'll hide quite a lot of them on the ground. Another interesting thing about feeders, if you watch squirrels when they're here, the animals that bury food, they live here. But if you see an animal that's using a feeder and it doesn't bury any food at all, it just comes and eats and then leaves, that squirrel's very unlikely to actually live locally. And so you can tell the difference between a resident and an animal that's commuting in to use a feeder. It's quite interesting if you watch that behaviour. What other foods could we put in here? We could put in sunflower seed. We could put in sunflower uh, hearts, the, the husked sunflowers. And if you want to remortgage your house, you could even buy hazelnuts and fill it full of hazelnuts and uh, the squirrels will come all day long for hazelnuts. Wow, what fun, and really rare for whales. I mean, this is pretty unique, and that's what makes Anglesey so special with these red squirrels. The part of the fabric, the background of the woodlands, you go to most of the woodlands on the island, and they're here. Um, obviously, it's 
a lot of places they won't be quite as uh, tame as this little fella. But what a thrill for people to come here, especially tourists who come to the island who've never seen one of these squirrels before. And they get a great opportunity, it's second to none, it's fabulous. If you'd like to learn more about red squirrels, there's a fabulous little free download that you can get online, Red Squirrels in My Garden, which tells you all about their ecology, their conservation, and how to go out and enjoy them. Mm -hmm.